Hi guys, welcome back to 100% Mag. So I hope you're all staying safe and well out there. And of course, this is the big one. Newcastle United takes on Manchester United down at Wembley this Sunday for our first final in 24 years. This is going to be absolutely crazy. Uh, this will be the third time that I've ever witnessed Newcastle United in a final as well. It's going to be half full kickoff on Sunday and it's going to be live on Sky Sports. Now, of course, this will be only the second time that Newcastle United have ever been in the League Cup final. Uh, the last time, of course, was 1976, well before my time, uh, of course. Uh, but Newcastle, of course, came away from that one on the end of a 2-1 defeat to Manchester United's uh, Neobaz, Manchester City. Alan Gowland scoring the goal in the game for Newcastle, but... Hopefully this time around Newcastle can come away from this one as the winners. Now looking at it, of course, like I say, uh, this will be the third final I have ever witnessed of Newcastle United in my lifetime. This is going to be an absolutely amazing occasion. Uh, I remember the first final I ever witnessed in my lifetime, which was, of course, the 98 FA Cup final. Uh, that was, of course, against Arsenal. Uh, double chasing Arsenal side in the FA Cup. Uh, and, of course, then the 99 final the year after that. Again, uh, in the FA Cup, but against a treble chasing Manchester United side. That, of course, was the last time we have been in a final. That was 24 years ago. So little did I know it would take 24 years uh, to be honest, to be able to get to another final, but some crazy ups and downs over the years, uh, of course, since we were last in a final. Uh, Wembley has changed quite a bit since we were last in a final as well. It's changed from being the Twin Towers Wembley, which, to be honest, I preferred uh, compared to what the Wembley looks like now. Uh, you know, the arch doesn't quite have the same feel as the old Twin Towers Wembley. Um but, you know, it's going to have an absolutely amazing feel uh, if we come away from it on Sunday as the winners of this League Cup final. It'll be an absolutely fantastic, uh, you know, stadium. And I will remember this moment for the rest of my life if Newcastle come away from this game on Sunday, you know, as the winners of the League Cup against the Manchester United side, you know, who have had, let's face it, a pretty easy run to the final compared to Newcastle. Uh, we've had a pretty hard run to the final. We've had to take on four Premier League teams uh, to get the final. You know, we had to take on Leicester. We had to take on Bournemouth. We had to take on Palace. We've had to take on Southampton. You know, and now we're having to take on Manchester United in the final. You know, so that'd be five Premier League teams if we beat Manchester United, you know, uh, on Sunday. That'll be five teams we've had to beat to win this cup. Uh, so when you compare it to what they've had to do, you know, uh, we have had a much tougher run uh, to this cup final than they have. Um, of course, there's massive boosts for we, you know, and there is some downers as well for we going into this one. Uh, the boosts, of course, are that we'll have Bruno back, uh, you know, fresh legged, ready to go for the final. His first ever game at Wembley as well. He's never played there before, so this is going to be an absolutely, you know, new thing uh, for Bruno to have to take in and it's going to be absolutely crazy as well uh, to be you know seeing 32,000 Newcastle fans just singing their hearts out and getting behind Eddie and the lads and that's what we want to see you know because this is a massive chance for us to prove you know how far we have come in such a very short space of time just over you know a year uh, since we got taken over by this uh, you know owners uh, Amanda Stavely, the Rubens, you know, in PIF. And unfortunately, Nicky Pope won't be able to take in the occasion as a player on the field, but he will, you know, hopefully be able to take in the occasion, you know, sitting and watching. Uh, but unfortunately, because of that uh, suspension, you know, that he picked up. Martin Debrefka won't be able be available for the game neither uh, because of his loan spell to of course Manchester United this season uh, so that means that he is cup tied and Anthony Gordon as well is cup tied for the game so he won't be able to play in the final uh, which is a bit of a shame uh, you know it would have been nice to see Gordon get a goal in the final but he's cup tied of course because of uh, his games with Everton in the cup this season so that means you know for goalkeepers we have to rely on Loris Karius or Mark Gillespie 
Uh, and I've got to say, this just has a redemption story written all over for Loris Carrier. So the last time he was in a final, uh, of course, was when he played for Liverpool. Uh, and they lost that final to Real Madrid. But the last time Carrier's played for Newcastle United, and the only time Carrier's has played for Newcastle United this season, was out in Saudi Arabia uh, when we we'll beat the Saudi Arabian champions Al-Halal. Uh, in the Dahari Season Cup. And of course we came away from that one. Winning the Dahari Season Cup. So is that a good omen? Going into the final? I think so. Uh, this is a massive chance. You know for Newcastle. To win our first uh, trophy. Since the 1969. Inter City's first cup. Uh, you know Bob Moncur of course. Being the captain of the side back then. Uh, when of course we won that. Inter City's first cup. Which is now you know what would be. The Europa League, and of course, big Joe Harvey uh, leading the side to win, of course, uh, the cup forward back then. Um, and of course, our last domestic cup was won in the 1955 season in the FA Cup. Uh, and, you know, it's just a massive chance for Eddie as well to prove, you know, how far he's come since his Bournemouth days. A lot of people, you know, were down in Eddie when he was appointed as manager. And they were saying that it was the wrong appointment. We should have went for somebody else. You know, like Stephen Gerrard, Frank Lampard were being chucked around his names. And, you know, we've seen what them two have done uh, in their managerial careers. Not even at any clubs now because of what they were doing in their managerial career this season. But Eddie Howe has proven all of the doubt as wrong. Uh, and he has, you know, well and truly went out there. You know, and showed exactly what kind of manager he is, exactly what he can do, and he is an absolutely fantastic manager. And I hope Eddie, you know, gets to you know hoist that cup up high alongside the likes of Trippier, Bruno, you know, and so many of the other lads uh, that have worked their butts off this season for Newcastle. Uh, you know, and hopefully they get written into the history books as absolute legends uh, for winning the first. Cup for Newcastle United in this new era under these uh, uh, absolutely amazing owners and of course our first cup since the 1969 uh, in the city's first cup as well. We will don the black and white shirts uh, for this final as Man United will don their home shirt as well. We will be wearing of course uh, our black shorts uh, for the game. Uh, Man United will be wearing white shorts for their game, uh, of course. And this is just going to be an absolute massive game. Uh, in There's just no words to describe how big this game is. You know, this is an absolutely massive game for Newcastle. Uh, it's an absolutely massive game for us Newcastle fans. We have been dreaming of this moment, you know, for a very long time. Uh, and this is our chance to prove... You know that we are the best team uh, out there. And of course we get a boost as well in the fact that you know Man United have to play tonight against Barcelona in the Europa League. Uh, so there could be a possibility that you know one of the Man United players could pick up a knock going into that game. Uh, fingers crossed it's Rashford. Uh, of course uh, with the way he's been performing of late he has been picking up a bit of form for them. Uh, which of course I'll allow... Uh, the guests on, of course, the channel, uh, which I reached out to, two Man United uh, guests, of course, uh, for this final, uh, one of them being Rich from Rich Sports, uh, which, of course, you will hear uh, what he has to say, just a minute or two uh, video to hear what he has to say, of course, going into this one. So Manchester United versus Newcastle United League Cup final, and... Fantastic occasion to look forward to. I think two teams desperate for silverware, two fan bases desperate to get some trophies this season. And a sort of difficult game to predict. Newcastle have been extremely difficult to beat this season. We've seen recent form. They do miss Pope, though, because of the sending off against Liverpool. And look at the positives of Manchester United. As a Manchester United fan, we've seen massive progression this year, a huge improvement from the start of the season. Even January signings this year, Red Horse, Sabitza coming in, filling in great roles. So we've, we've improved our squad. Casemiro comes back. Rashford's in the form of his life. I think our defence is looking a lot more solid. David De Gea is playing well. 
Martinez, Varane, Maguire, Lindelof. We've got a lot of options there. I think for me, the positive is going to be that I think we've got more depth now than we have for a while. And we're going to play Barcelona midweek. So that's going to be a difficult game. We can't avoid that that fact. We've got a lot of fixtures coming up because of rescheduled games and everything. But I think looking at our team, Palestri, Sancho, Rashford, Garnacho, I think we've got a team packed with match winners now. And my prediction is going to be, I think Manchester United are going to win this 2-1. But it'll probably be an extra time goal. It's going to be a tough one. I think Newcastle are a difficult team to beat. They're going to give you know, it's a, a strong test. But I wouldn't be surprised if um, like Sancho or Rashford's on the score sheet and maybe Gran actually can come off the bench for a winner. But otherwise, hopefully I'm really looking forward to it. And make sure if you watch this channel, you know, click like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys soon. And of course, Maisie uh, from Devils United as well, uh, who I reached out to on her channel uh, to come on and of course, you know, give her thoughts as well. Uh, just again, another minute or two uh, to hear what, you know, their thoughts are going into the game. Hi, Maisie here, looking ahead at the Carabao Cup final. It is going to be an interesting final. Both teams are on such good form this season. Um, Eddie Howe taking over Newcastle a year ago, getting them into the top six, getting them as well into a, a Carabao Cup final, which is the first time in such a long time. Manchester United also with a brand new manager of Eric Ten Hag. Um, uh, with great form this season as well, currently in third, still in all cup competitions. I think for me, the take the game is going to be much tighter than what a lot of people think, um, especially knowing that um, that how well defensively Newcastle is, and you look at, for instance, Marcus Rashford on form. Uh, where is it going to? Where is going to end up being? I do personally think it is going to be an extra time. Um, I, of course, I'm going to be back in Manchester United, so. Um, I do see, hopefully, a Manchester United win 2-1 in extra time. Um, but I think, for me, Newcastle have been absolutely tremendous. Um, absolutely fantastic with Sven Botman. Nick Pope, who's unfortunately out. Um, I know that's going to be a big blow for Newcastle. Uh, Kieran Trippier, absolutely superb. Almoron as well, who's been fantastic. Um, whoever wins, both teams are going to put on such a good fight on Sunday. Um, and I do wish Newcastle the very best um, for the game on Sunday and also for the rest of the season. Thank you. Massive thank you to Rich and Macy for both sending across their videos, of course, for this massive game uh, for Newcastle and Manchester United as it is the League Cup final. Uh, so it was great to have them send their videos across on their thoughts uh, going into the game. It's great to hear uh, from the opposing team, of course, uh, and some fantastic thoughts there from both of them going into this game, which is a massive game for both clubs. Uh, massive rivalry as well between the two teams, as we have talked about quite a bit in this video already. Uh, but if you want to go and follow them over on their channels or you know, check out future videos of them on their channels, then I will pin their channels down in the comments section below uh, for you to go and follow them over there. But let's get on with the rest of the preview. Uh, and the ref for the game will be David Coote, uh, of course, revealed uh, to be a Notts County fan after accusations of a pro Man United air bias. Uh, greeted the appointment uh, announcement for David Coote in the game. Now, I am not believing this one single second that he is a Notts County fan. I mean, if you look at the way, you know, Man United's games have gone when he has officiated them, they do win quite a lot of their games when he does officiate them. So that is a little bit of a, a you know, stickling point for me. Uh, we're going to have to keep close eye on him and see how he does officiate the games and on VAR duty you know as well another guy that isn't really respected uh, by us Newcastle fans is Peter Banks uh, he of course uh, was last on the screens for us in our Boxing Day success against Leicester City uh, in the Premier League but he doesn't usually fare very well for us uh, Newcastle fans when he's uh, doing 
things, you know, for our games, be it VAR, albeit the referee, David Coote as well, not the greatest uh, when it comes to Newcastle games, unfortunately, uh, with him doing the games last season uh, in the Villa away loss, a 2-0 loss, of course, it was to Villa at uh, Villa Park, a 1-1 draw down at the Amex against uh, Brighton, and of course that game down at Stamford Bridge where Kai Havertz scored the winning goal in the game. He should have been sent off for an elbow on Dan Byrne. It didn't get done. Uh, there should have been a penalty in the game for it as well for a foul on Jacob Murphy. Uh, of course, again, didn't get done. And he does prefer to let Ford side uh, instead of doing the work himself, which doesn't board well when you look at Ford. And of course, like I said, Peter Banks is on Ford for the game. Uh, who, again, you know, isn't very favourable towards Newcastle United and the games. And um, at the end of the day, you know, they're not there to be favourable. They're there to officiate a game, but at least play it down the middle. You know, don't be very one-sided like these guys have been in the past when they've officiated over Newcastle's games, be it, like I say, on ref in the game or being on VAR. And, of course, David Coote as well has had quite a bit of a problem with Jacob Murphy as he does seem to always book him uh, when of course he's ref the game with Jacob Murphy in it. Uh, the news of course going into it is that like I say 32,761 places uh, at the west end of of course uh, Wembley have been given to Newcastle fans uh, including 867 uh, within a designated safe standing section. Of course, the tickets were priced between £40 and £150. Uh, but, of course, there has been the touts out there who are selling tickets for upwards of three grand and more. Uh, the club has been trying their absolute best to get them touts tickets and been giving them, of course, in selling them on to Newcastle fans, uh, you know, who want to go to the game uh, for the correct price instead of overcharging uh, for the tickets. Uh, I did see a video yesterday put up by Matty on uh, the Magpie channel, of course, uh, and he paid, you know, £2,400 for his ticket, which is absolutely crazy, um, you know, to be honest. But I can fully understand where he's coming from. You know, if I had that kind of money, I'd be paying that as well. You know, because this is an occasion that you just don't want to miss, uh, you know. Uh, but I'll be seeing it from home uh, with my family, uh, with my dad and my brother. And we'll be watching, you know, the final, drinking down some Newcastle Brown. And uh, we'll be, you know, taking in this final, like I say, the third final uh, I will witness in my lifetime. Hopefully there'll be more to come in the years to come as well with these owners, you know, with the way... They're taking this club forward. It's going to be absolutely fantastic. Uh, but looking at the results uh, at Wembley, of course, this will be the 16th time that Newcastle have taken uh, to the field at Wembley. Uh, and of course, the first time we took to the field was back in 1923-24 uh, season. We won 2-0 in the FA Cup final of that year against Aston Villa. Uh, the 31-32 season, seeing what take on Arsenal, we won 2-1 in the FA Cup final. Uh, then, of course, the 50-51, seeing what take on Blackpool, where we won 2-0 in the FA Cup final. Uh, of course, an FA Cup final in the 51-52 season, seeing we win 1-0 against Arsenal. Uh, then, of course, we took on Man City in the 54-55 one, where we won 3-1 in the game. Uh, and then, of course, the 74 Three seventy four one was our first defeat in an FA Cup final, uh, of course, and that was at the hands of Liverpool in a 3-0 defeat. Uh, then, of course, the 75-76 was the League Cup final, uh, where we lost 2-1. Uh, then, of course, there was the 87-88 season, where we took on uh, Liverpool. We won 1-0 in that one. Uh, then, of course, the same season, uh, we took on Tramia Rovers and lost 2-0. Uh, in the MT, uh, MCT uh, and of course the 96-97 season uh, seeing we us lose 4-0 in the Charity Shield uh, the 97-98 season seeing we of course lose 2-0 uh, to Arsenal in the FA Cup 
uh, in pretty much uh, from the 97 to 98 season, uh, it was losses at Wembley with, of course, the 98-99 uh, being the Man U game. Uh, the 99-2000 being the FA Cup semi-final against Chelsea where we lost 2-1 to Chelsea. Uh, then, of course, the 17-18 season in the Premier League against Spurs we lost 1-0. The 18-19 season seen we lost 1-0 uh, to, of course, Spurs as well in 22-23. Hopefully, it's a win for Newcastle on Sunday. Uh, this will be the fourth time that our two sides have clashed. In this competition, of course, the 1976-77 season seen will lose 7-2 away uh, to Manchester United. The 94-95 season seen will win 2-0 uh, at St James's Park against Manchester United. The 2012-2013 season uh, seen will lose 2-1, uh, of course, to Manchester United. And like I say, hopefully uh, on Sunday we come away with the win. Uh, the last 10 meetings against, of course, us and Manchester United, uh, of course, were two draws in the previous two seasons. The 22 23 season this season, of course, was a draw at Old Trafford. Uh, it was a draw last season at St James's Park 1 1 in the 21 22 season uh, in Old Trafford. It was a 4 1 defeat. Uh, the season before that, of course, was defeats both at St James's and Old Trafford. Uh, then, of course, the 1920 season soon will lose 4 1 at Old Trafford, but win 1 0 uh, at St James's. And that, of course, was the last time that we have won against Manchester United, uh, was the 1920 uh, season. And of course, that was at St James's Park. Matty Longstaff scoring the goal on his debut. Newcastle as well uh, but hopefully like I say uh, on Sunday we'll come away from this game with an absolutely fantastic uh, win you know be it 1-0 whatever you know as long as Newcastle United are hoisting up the League Cup at the end of that game that is all that matters to me I want to see the black and white uh, ribbons on that League Cup and I want to see Kieran Trippier hoisting it up high to the applause of us Newcastle United fans and I want to see Newcastle coming back up from the capital on Tuesday to do that uh, parade around Newcastle of course to hopefully massive massive numbers which I'm sure there will be I remember you know when we lost the 98 and the 99 uh, FA Cup finals you know Newcastle had an absolutely crazy uh, bus parade and we hadn't even won the cup you know and i was there for both occasions uh, at the civic center in newcastle you know when the lads came back in and there was just absolutely crazy numbers uh there you know to just show support to the lads for making it to the final you know this time around however uh, the club has said that if we do lose there will be no parade uh which are fully back you know at the end of the day why should we be uh, you know cheering on losing uh, a game you know we'll want to be cheering on winning uh, the game but I could you know say why we did it back then to show support you know to the lads for making it at the final um, but you know at the end of the day hopefully like I say Newcastle come away from it black and white ribbons on that League Cup on Sunday after the game's all done and dusted and we can dance the night away in Newcastle the big market God knows where around the world Newcastle United fans are you know will be dancing the night away on Sunday uh, hopefully with us winning the League Cup and with that I'm going with Newcastle United to win 2-1 against Manchester. How are the lads?